Come on, bro. Like, what platform does this? Name another doll that does this. You can't. You can't do it. I mean, how much easier can they make it? So they're putting Splice out of business, pretty much. They want to make the best product they can for us. For us. I'm going to be reacting to the new FL Cloud video on FL Studios' YouTube channel. They recently put out a video explaining every little detail about what FL Cloud has to offer. Figured I was going to make a video about it, but why not just react to FL Studios' video because they explained it so well. You'll be able to see for yourself how much of a game changer the FL Cloud is and how they're really catering to the FL Studio producer community. So let's just get right into it. FL Cloud is a service that integrates online sample libraries and tools directly into FL Studio. We started this journey with Flex, our first web integrated product with online content. If you don't use Flex, you're missing out on one of the best stock VSTs FL Studio has ever come out with in the history of FL Studio. We expanded the content to the library tab in the browser, allowing you to download things like samples without leaving FL Studio. The rapid adoption and heavy use of these features by our customers shows you love working this way. It's like this idea has been around for a long time and it's like they tested it out with Flex and that whole system of how you can buy packs online through FL Studio without really going anywhere else, without anybody really even noticing it. So I had no idea that that's what they were doing. I just thought this was like a new way that they were going to start utilizing their plugins in the library in the back end. FL Cloud launches with three main features sounds, mastering, and distribution. It is free to use with the option of accessing additional features and content via monthly or with the monthly you get unlimited downloads, no credits because you can go on a credit by credit system if you'd like to. If you want to do the free option and you don't want to do a monthly subscription, I think they also give you the option to then just buy credits and go on a case by case basis with what samples and what plugins that you want to use in different packs. We understand some may be concerned FL Studio will go subscription only. FL Studio will always include lifetime free updates and no one will ever be forced into a subscription to use FL Studio. We'll start with sounds in this video and continue with the other features in following videos. You'll need to sign in to FL Cloud to start using it. So by the way, if you don't have a full paid complete version of FL Studio, you can't even do this option. So I know there's a lot of you guys out there that, you know, doing some illegal stuff. Right now, there's a whole bunch of Black Friday deals. You can basically get it for pennies on the dollar. It's the cheapest it's ever been. It was three times as much when I bought it. So right now, I think it's only a couple hundred bucks. You can get in there, free lifetime updates. And then if you want the cloud, you can subscribe then. Otherwise, if you don't have a paid version of FL Studio, you cannot subscribe to this FL Cloud at all whatsoever. It won't allow you. If you've recently unlocked FL Studio, hey, look at these packs, my boy Jay Cactus in there. You will automatically be signed in. If you're using the FL Studio trial, you'll need to make an account here. Let's start exploring sounds. There are three main sub tabs, discover, sounds, and packs. Discover shows suggestions based on your individual preferences and search habits. By the way, your boy has a collection in there too in the packs tab. Just saying. Just saying. You might see me a little bit quick. I think they show a little glimpse of your boy. You get me. Rated collections. I think you just saw me right there. Just like a quick little glimpse. Preferences and search habits. <laughs> see if I can pause it. You can browse a curated Hey, there I am. You get me. In the packs collection section. Let's go. Collections. Packs weekly top tens and trending content. So basically what the collections are, if you're not familiar with the collections is FL Studio asked a bunch of influencers, producers to create a collection of sounds that are already in the FL cloud. So they're not my sounds that I've created myself in sound design. They're sounds that I went through the FL cloud, the sounds tab of the FL cloud and picked my favorite samples that are in the cloud. Sounds lets you select categories and look for one shots and loops. Use the search bar to search for content. By the way, this is crazy. Just look at how in-depth you can get with the search. Type, genre, instrument, BPM, and key. You can filter it, most popular. Packs shows full sample packs, categorized by genre. So they're putting Splice out of business, pretty much. It's like a lot of other things in the world right now. They don't want you to leave FL Studio, because when you leave FL Studio, you're not using it as much. They also want to make the user experience a lot better, cleaner, smoother, and more convenient for the producer. So I think more so, it's it's a lot of those topics. It's a lot of those things that are at hand right now. Like a lot of apps like Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, they don't want you to leave the app. When you leave the app, it's not good for them. So they're going to do all they can to keep you in the app, which is great in my opinion, because this only helps the producer. You don't have to leave. You don't have to go to other websites. You don't have to go download other packs and plugins and different things and wait for things to download. You're all in FL Studio. All you need is the full version, the subscription, internet connection, and you're in. We'll look for a vocal sample to start our project. So I'll use the sounds option, select loops, click the search bar and type in vocal. Preview the sample by clicking play. 
Can't breathe when you with me. No, and if you like it, press like download or drag it directly onto the playlist, like this. So it syncs to the BPM. Navigation works as you'd expect. Use the play next and previous options to flick through sounds. Use the scroll wheel to browse and click on the pages below to see more results. If you make the browser wider, you can see additional information about the sample, namely key and BPM. Let me adjust my project tempo closer to the BPM tag of the vocal so it doesn't sound as time-stretched. Nice. If these options are on in your FL Cloud settings, you will hear all loop previews stretched to your project tempo and pitch shifted to your selected key. Fire. They really thought of it all. You can tell they've been working on this for a long, long time. It was also in beta for a long time, tested it out. And again, they listen to the community and people that express their opinions. They have any concerns, any bug fixes, at least over the last six months, it's been in beta. I could be wrong on that, but months it's been in beta and people have been testing it, putting questions in the forums. If you're not in the forums, get in the forums because there's a lot of up-to-date information that's in there. There's a lot of stuff that nobody really talks about online so much. It's uh, you know, really back end deep stuff in the image line online community video they will already be stretched and pitch shifted too Can't that's crazy you with me know how it feels like intoxicated me just instantly works key and bpm know how it feels like click here for double time or half time previews <laughs> crazy When we're making a beat, we want to preview stuff. We want to preview them quick. They're just making that process so much quicker. Now, if I have a melody going on, it automatically detects the key and the tempo. I can preview samples that go with it in the key and the tempo, half time them, double time them, real time them on the fly, on the spot. So my thing has always been like, how fast can you get the ideas out from your brain to the DAW? FL Studio just keeps making that easier and faster. The sync BPM option here is handy for turning this off on the fly if needed. Can breathe when you with me. So you even have the option to not use it. Same as in the browser, you've got a dedicated volume control. So you can almost mix your preview for all previews here. To avoid overstretched previews, you can filter the search by key and BPM. The samples I already have are in G sharp or A flat major or in harmonically F minor. I'll use the project percentage option in the BPM tab to make sure all results are close to my project BPM. So they will still sound good after stretching. Why would you ever need to get sample packs? I mean, I get it. I get the, you know, the idea of like having more, more and more and more, but this library is going to get so massive. It's already huge. It's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're going to constantly be adding new sounds, new samples, new packs. I've saved the sounds I'll be using in this project to the wish list by giving them a heart. That's fire. So if you don't have any credits or you're not subbed yet, you could still save the samples that you want. Just like he said, like if you haven't committed to the subscription or the credit. Wait a second. Sustaining one shot. All right, so they're making an infinite 808 here. If you didn't catch that, go back, because I've made some videos on this in the past, but that's an infinite 808. So instead of the 808 tailing out, when you hold a key down, it's just going to consistently sustain out. So you have just an infinite 808. To the chord progression. They're just low-key, like, putting little gems in there. <laughs> Beats fire, by the way. Those vocals. Whoever makes these beats for these tutorials is awesome. You can look for any sounds you've downloaded in the sounds folder in the All tab of the browser. Once they are in the list of your downloaded files here, they're yours to keep and re-download if you need them again. That's cool, so you'll have them what forever. What if you have a sound that is almost there, but could use some editing. Each sound has a menu with options such as pitch correcting and time warping. Again. This is crazy, bro. What if so you can right click on any one of these samples and just open up new tone. By the way, new tone, if you, you might be sleeping on new tone, don't sleep. Use this option to report samples. Reporting stuff helps us improve. See what I'm saying about FL and image line, yo? They want to make the best product they can for us. For us. You can do it if you find a sample in the wrong key or BPM, for example. Come on, bro. Like, what platform does this? Name another platform that does this. Name another DAW that does this kind of stuff. You can't. You can't do it. Also, like, with the FL Cloud, they haven't talked about it yet, but I'm assuming that you're going to be able to download plugins from there. Stock plugins, of course. Or maybe not stock. Maybe technically third party, but, I mean, technically it'll still 
still be stock because it'll be coming out of the FL Cloud. But I know they're working with different plugin companies I've seen in the past, and I think you're going to be able to get plugins through there. You're going to be able to get sounds and presets for the plugins. Imagine the possibilities with FL Cloud. They're really just scratching the surface right now. This is like the tip of the iceberg with what can happen with FL Cloud sounds. All right, so here's another video. This is a separate video about mastering. This is also in the FL Cloud subscription. You cannot do this mastering without it. This is AI mastering with the FL Cloud. Once you've made something you're proud of, select master in the X. So you could see that little cloud symbol right there on the word master. That means you can't do it without the FL Cloud. You can also hit Control and M. You'll see the FL Cloud Mastering tool. The dialog will look familiar as it's based on the standard F Another reason why I love FL, when they make something new, they make sure to keep it relative to the other windows, the other plugins, the other interfaces within FL. So it's very easy to figure out a brand new feature and a brand new plugin. At the bottom, you can select a target integrated LUFS loudness value for your master or choose from one of the provided streaming services loudness guidelines in this menu. Game changer. For all these different AI AI mastering plugins and softwares out there. Watch out, man. FL, they're listening. They're watching. Provided free to all FL Studio customers is the default preset, which is a great place to start. FL Cloud subscribers will be able to choose from the genres here. I wonder how they base the genres, like how they do this. I wonder how this back end works. I know it's AI, but I'm wondering how they decipher what kind of master goes for which genre, really. Are closest to what your style is, or leave it on automatic to let FL Cloud detect the best match. Click start to begin the mastering process. Your file will be rendered and then mastered online. All right, so you get an original, you get the hip hop version, and then you get the deep house, whichever one you choose. So you get two different options that you can choose from and you can A, B them and play them side by side. Click this control to view only one waveform at a time. Click the play button to start auditioning. You can select between the original, that's what it would have sounded like if you rendered it straight out of FL Studio, and your two mastering references on the fly. Now, I would go back and make sure that on your master track, before you do this, make sure that you have some headroom. This is something that they didn't discuss, but make sure that you have at least like negative six, negative three dB headroom, depending, even if you do have maybe a limiter or a soft clipper on there, I would try it with and without, because it all depends on your mix as well at the end of the day. So try different things and see what works best for you. But this is definitely an awesome option, especially if you don't have a budget for mastering and you want to get beats out there quick, you want to get music out there fast. This is a great option to get some clean masters on the floor. And it's all color coded too, so you could see like where the hot zones are in the master. Obviously, the dark red are the hotter zones, probably kick, 808, things that are the loudest in the mix. Um, to skip to a specific point in the track. distribution hey, ever wanted to release this is a game changer right here you don't even have to leave fl to drop your music what so in the tools tab i haven't even tried this out yet i haven't even done this but i know they partnered with distro kids your music on the major music platforms you cannot do this unless you have the fl cloud subscription fl cloud subscriptions include music distribution powered by distro kid so you have to have a distro kid account in order to do this as well if you do which most of us probably have distro kid connect it through fl studio cloud wow so this is wild it just it's the exact interface of DistroKid, but I was thinking maybe there'd be like some limitations because it's through FL, but there isn't. There isn't any that I can see right now anyway. FL Cloud will allow you to release as many tracks as you want and manage your music directly via your Wow, nice cover art. Your FL. Most importantly, you get to keep 100% of your earnings. Stem separation. Now with this one, you don't have to have an FL Cloud subscription in order to use this feature right here. From the clip menu, select extract stems. I mean, how much easier can they make it? You can choose which stems to extract here. Vocals, bass, instrument, drums. You can limit CPU usage. So if you have a computer that is kind of laggy and your, your CPU isn't that great, click that button. And there you have it. Sounds good. Really clean. Just as good as any of the AI stuff that I've seen out there for stem separation. But within FL, they didn't show it here, but it does take a little bit for the stems to separate. But I mean, that's a given. That can take a little bit. You got to expect that. It depends on how long the song is that you're stem separating. So that's going to wrap it up. Let me know what you think about the FL Cloud and all of its new features down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.